Thursday morning, so I leave on Saturday in a couple days. Uh, about a week ago, <clears throat> I have to tell you something. About a week ago, I was up on the mountain. Taking drone shots. As I'm leaving, I'm holding my gimbal with my camera on it and I'm going up the stairs and they're super slippery. Thailand is just so humid and it right now it's a rainy season so everything's completely wet. I had shoes that were pretty grippy but they just weren't grippy enough so um, I fell and hit my uh, shin really hard. It was kind of funny because John, Brother Lang's son, was like, you okay? And I just had a, I have a pet peeve whenever somebody asks me if I'm okay and I'm in a lot of pain. It just causes more pain because it's like more stressful and I can't talk so to try to talk instead of the pain is going so stressful. So I, I just have a big pet peeve. Don't ask somebody if they're okay if they get hurt. Now if they can't breathe don't even ask them, can you breathe or anything like that? Like, just figure it out. But anyways, I'm not saying anything wrong with John. I mean, that's what I would say. That's what anybody would say. So I'm not, it's not like I'm upset. No, not at all. I got up and I walked away. Well, for the last week, I've been walking on this thing. And I thought it was just a bruise, like a really bad one that would go away. My whole ankle swelled up. But I thought it was going to go away. And it's just been progressively getting worse. This happened and it would have happened to anybody. It was just a crazy accident. I will say though, before I was saved, I was a lazy bum. I dropped out of high school. I dropped out of sports. I dropped out of my favorite sports, football, lacrosse. And I did that all because I was a lazy bum. I had no discipline in my life. I was a big pothead. I smoked a lot of weed. And after I got saved, God instilled in me a lot of motivation. And then he started to work on character. As I started to work out and stuff like that, and started to focus more on getting big, you, you have to develop a love for pain in a way. And so that's something that I say in the gym. I'll say like, you gotta love the pain. Because once you start to love the pain, which is really the pump, if you work out, you know what I'm talking about, then you can really start to see results. But when you want to stay in the comfort zone, when you're working out and you're like, oh, this hurts, and I don't, you're never going to see drastic results that you want, anybody wants. I mean, I'm not working out for nothing, right? And so um, I know that I need to keep myself um, disciplined. So the reason I was walking on this and doing everything else on this leg while I wasn't sure if it was hurt that bad or not is because if I let myself go, I'll be lazy. In the flesh, I'm lazy, but I'm almost certain it's broken. Last night I went to bed and I hardly could sleep at all. And so yesterday I was limping around. I could still kind of walk on it. This morning, couldn't even sleep. I woke up at three in the morning and it was hurting. And so now my foot hurts also. And so I'm gonna show you guys. And uh, I'm not sure if that's a bone or what, but I'm almost certain it's fractured, it has to be. Because this has been a week now. So I take off my sock and check this out. Got a big bruise, right? And it's completely swollen. Like, this is what I would look like if I was really fat. So it's kind of funny. But anyways, um, yeah, that is uh, my foot. So when I saw that, it was a little nerve-wracking. Going in for x-rays, we're going to see the results. I'm going to make sure you guys see it. You gotta stick with me though. Um, anyways, I'm sure by now I'm already home and fine. But, we'll see what happens. We're gonna see for sure with the x-ray. Look, I can't even fit. I can't fit in my shoe. <laughs> oh man, I really got fat. Thank you. Uh, new patient.
That's so fat. Well, they said I, uh, I just gained some weight and it all went into my foot. Oh, you want me to get up here? Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Is it the wrong leg? That <laughs> side? Yeah. It's no good. There's no fracture. No fracture. Uh -huh. Huh. Well, you saw the results just as well as I did. Not broken. So, infection and inflammation. The skin and the muscle. Soft tissue. Soft tissue is inflamed or something. Um, so, part of me doesn't want to believe it and thinks they got the right or the wrong foot or the wrong bone. But if that's the case, then it's their fault. So if anything bad happens, but it's not broken at all, then I feel a lot better because then I know that I can walk on it and not feel like I'm breaking my foot anymore. So yeah, this morning it was super scary when I thought it was broken because I thought if I'm walking on it or doing anything, it might just crack on me or something. So that was scary. So knowing that it's not feels much better. Uh, still really hurts to try to walk, but yeah, so I'm just going to get some antibiotics, and uh, yeah, we're going to head home. going to get some work done, going to try to go on the mountain. Obviously, you know how it goes, work hard, play hard, so we'll see you guys later. So he just dropped us off, and John and I are going to take all this equipment, and we have quite a few things. Oh, and by the way, after walking on my leg, like now that I know it's not my bone and I'm walking on it. My foot is still like double the size. But the doctor said I need to kind of get... Dude, that is definitely poison ivy. This? I really hope not. I gotta be careful. Um, I need to be walking on it more. So, or moving it around. So, anytime I sit down or stop using it for a little while and then I get on it, there's just a burst of pain hot pain sharp I got some battle wounds from the drone we flipped it actually but check out this creepy little setup they got here like they got these guys they sit there all day and at night is when they come up they come out and they get some Lay's chips and oh my goodness there's one of there's one of them they're preparing the potato chips right now No, but seriously, uh, they got like waxed statues that look like people. Like they try really hard to make them look real. Really creepy. Anyways, obviously it's really spiritually dark here, so they need a lot of prayer. And hopefully these people get saved one day. But other than that, we'll see you guys at home when we make some pizza. Okay. Wait, did you pour? How much did you order? That was four, right? Yeah, that was four, so I have to Okay. Buddy, how about you grab flour? I need nine, I need ten and a half cups of flour. So, bye bye, you use this four times. Okay. Ten and a half cups. So, Joshua, you have to you just hold it. You have to wait for three. Look at the designs it's made. Just wait, but we're not going to pour it in yet. Three. three. Don't, don't let it pour over. The Israelites were filled with bread. Did you cook them for some Italian words? Okay, let me start going like this. That looks hard. I know, but you can do it, Josh. What pizza makers here? Okay, and then when you give up, you use a roller. <laughs> but you just said Italian, don't use a roller. <laughs> 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 this giant stood so tall. But David said, My God has 
just led me here to It is the second to last day. I'm not leaving tomorrow, but the next day. Free. 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 Wait, where do we get coffee from? She just gave that to us. Oh, just cups? We spend so much money in gas that that's a freebie. <laughs> that's pretty legit. I, I think I like that's this raw. place. You got that live. <laughs> I mean, there wasn't acted it. And I woke up this morning and my leg was feeling a lot better. I got good sleep, but as you know, it's not broken. It still feels like it's broken. I'm getting sharp pains and it hurts really bad, but it's really bruised and it's uh, purple and it's still really fat and I'm still getting really warm, like really hot, sharp pains on my bone, on my shin. But anyways, um, I wanted to tell you guys, every time you stop at a gas station, there's always a coffee shop. I mean, this place is filled with coffee shops. If you ever come here, don't worry, they got you covered. Check it out. Driving in the mountains. Checking out the mountains. So I think we're gonna go in the valley in between these two mountains. And then, as you can see, there's much higher mountains in the background. How did the train out there? What's that? There's a little road coming down. Stay yeah. shows were nine minutes, so we're 10 kilometers away. Around the corner, is there an object to fix on there? Got the doorway. Oh, you got the doorway. You got the bell of the doorway. So this is a pretty epic. We're gonna grab a couple drone shots, not too many. We're not gonna get too crazy with it because we have some other sweet shots that we wanna get. But anyways, I'm sure you guys are like, why am I watching this video? Because I'm never gonna make videos, but it's kinda cool to see how videos are made, right? All the work that's put into it. And so if you ever feel like giving donations, anything like that, if the Lord puts it on your heart, you know, <laughs> you'll know why. So the dogs around here are pretty sketchy as we were flying the drone and taking footage and stuff. I mean, they just keep like creeping up on you. And it's like, are you gonna bite me? Because you definitely have diseases. This one just ran away. He's camera shy. Beware of the dogs. There are so many wild dogs around here. So as you can see, they don't really take care of this place. I mean, it's, it's like candle there's wax. candle wax from them doing sacrifices. <laughs> and it looks disgusting up here. Look at all this paint. It's coming off. Paint's cool. coming off and everything. It's turning to cement. And uh, yeah, this place looks gross. <laughs> Let's see if I got a better place to turn around up here. Check out these. People, they're very scary. <laughs> Edgy. I just don't know where to park from here. Check out this view.
Does anyone know where Josh is? Because I want to be careful. We've been packing a lot of stuff and he could end up in one of these boxes. Oh man, is that Josh in there? Joshua, you might end up in America. Be careful. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm using here. Obviously, my prime lens with my 5D, so... Thank <laughs> you.